Hello, Akako. I'm uh, Reverend Keith Walter, pastor at Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, December 8th, 2021. And it's an interesting passage from Isaiah, one that we don't read much, but that I am going to read for you here and then... Uh, offer some prayers for those who have given their lives uh, in war, uh, thinking about yesterday and uh, the 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor Day, uh, and then a benediction. So, with that introduction, Isaiah 19, beginning with verse 18. On that day, there will be five cities in the land of Egypt that speak the language of Canaan, and swear allegiance to the Lord of hosts. One of these will be called the City of the Sun. On that day, there will be an altar to the Lord in the center of the land of Egypt, and a pillar to the Lord at its border. It will be a sign and a witness to the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. When they cry to the Lord because of oppressors, he will send them a savior and defend and deliver them. The Lord will make himself known to the Egyptians, and the Egyptians will know the Lord on that day. They will worship with sacrifice and burnt offering. And they will make vows to the Lord and perform them. The Lord will strike Egypt, striking and healing they will return to the Lord, and he will listen to their supplications and heal them. On that day, there will be a highway from Egypt to Assyria, and the Assyrians will come into Egypt, and the Egyptians into Assyria, and the Egyptians will worship with the Assyrians. On that day, Israel will be the third with Egypt and Assyria, a blessing in the midst of the earth, whom the Lord of hosts is blessed, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people, and Assyria, the work of my hands, and Israel, my heritage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For those who have given their lives, a pule, kako, let us pray. Eternal God, we give thanks for all those who have shown the greatest love by laying down their lives for others. We especially thank you for those in our military throughout history who have sacrificed their lives for their fellow citizens and for us who came after. As we remember their service, keep us mindful of all those for whom this day is a burden and send your spirit of comfort to them. Be present with all the women and men who are serving in the military today. Let them live for the peace known only from you. Help us to be worthy of their legacy. And keep us mindful of their service that in all things we may live our lives in praise and thanksgiving to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now may God go behind and before you. May Christ's cross be marked on your forehead. And may the gentle breath of the Spirit keep you in faith. Amen.